Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see the default web browser for Mac OS that is Safari. Now, everybody's favorite is Google Chrome. <clears throat> My personal favorite is Firefox, uh, but Safari is for the <laughs> Mac OS. Now, the interface is quite the same. You have the main search bar that is for the I believe privacy controls or the security that's our it and see <coughs> excuse me so these are the back and um, forward buttons this is the sidebar sidebar usually hosts your favorites and your probably the reading list that you you know if you do a lot of reading you add them here just like if you remember from uh, when we did the review of uh, Microsoft Edge, kind of same. The interface or the settings is quite, uh, the interface is quite simple because all the settings are hidden neatly and tucked away in here. Just So this is, we'll add another tab. You can see one and two. This is the second tab, I can get rid of it. This one basically makes all the tabs tile side with each other. So like for example, if I were to go add three, I do this, all of them are up here. Now I can get rid of them. So the search bar uh, acts similarly in Chrome. Either you can type in gmail.com and that's the address, you can hit enter, it will go to hopefully to your mail and or <clears throat> you can type in a search term for example let's do Dublin Ohio it's going for the weather I don't want the weather I just want the Dublin Ohio and see I have the uh, search results now if you were to go add it to a bookmark you can see you can click here and if I uh, make my window like this it's still there so you can you know, just like the same behavior whatever the window on top all these belongs to that window for adding a bookmark you can do this add bookmark so there is the key a command D now what this does oh it's the drop down menu which has we oh that's nice let's let's explore it now double click here so either you can add it to reading list like if it was uh, an article um, news reading you can add it to bookmarks you can email this page message airdrop notes you can add it to notes reminders and more brings up this extension page that we don't want to see but uh, we don't want to go through it right now, but it, it has like everything like kind of settings So most of them are I saw it. They are not the add to photos and all that So probably add to photos comes to life and there's a photo selected Now <clears throat> adding it to bookmark you can either add reading list or add to bookmark folder There is will be inside favorites or you can add bookmarks that will come here so let's go do it here Dublin Ohio Google search and if I go back here it's Dublin Ohio Google search it's in my uh, favorites I was thinking that it's gonna be here but it, that's not the case now if I go over here favorite it's right there as well so Customized toolbar brings up this uh, further settings that you can go through like uh, what to add if you can see if while I'm up here notice the behavior of this they are uh, uh, kind of jiggling so you can dra drag and drop I believe for example if you were good if you were to go and add this you can see that nice add button now it's added there or you can remove it and it's gone so you can add all these just like that up there for example if you print a lot from the web you can do this add that so that is that 
now to settings you can so for safari setting you can go to preferences and this is the area where um just like internet settings or yeah internet settings uh it doesn't it's not sounding right to me but yeah you get the idea in windows there was like internet setting internet options you would do a lot of things that was internet options so just like that it's filled with everything related to uh, safari you can go and play with them for example how tab behaves what what are the behavior where you want them how does autofill uh, behaves uh, do you want to have a password manager that saves everything for you in mac so these are more like the main page kind of things for example what kind of home page you want do you want the um new want uh, new tabs open or not or do you want them after one year uh, you want your history items to be removed, all that stuff. Now, Safari is not your developers are exactly same. The same like uh, in Internet Explorer, you would get this message. Pretty neat and um, kind of simple, but again, all of them are up here, so you can go and play with them. Whatever you have most recently, recently closed, so all that. That's a lot of stuff. Now let's wrap this video here and if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one